And this is pretty much everything gone. My name is Paul Oyansu. Um, I have a farm here in uh, Peakview, New South Wales. It's a small private forest, uh, with, which is approximately, or was approximately 150 hectares, in which case we had 100 hectares that was burnt during the 2020 bushfires. We've been using our machinery and TMK products in particular to help us clean up and uh, recover after the bushfire and, uh, and allow us to, uh, to use the land again for uh, either pastures or paddocks or, or reforest areas that uh, we decide to. Uh, my background's from Finland. My parents immigrated to Australia uh, at different times. My father immigrated uh, when he was eight or nine years old from Aul or Sika Yogi, and mum immigrated later in the 70s from Kuopio or Kaapi. Uh, they moved to Australia, and met in Australia, and had uh, us children. Uh, obviously, there's been a relationship with the bush. We call it the bush or the outdoors. Uh, and, uh, and an opportunity came up for, for my family or for myself to buy a farm, a farm forest. Uh, we took that opportunity um, for a number of reasons. Uh, the beautiful pine trees, the familiarity to it, and I guess a bit of a reminder of what, where my parents had come from. Um, so obviously I was looking at what the, uh, the Finnish industry was doing and the timber industry in particular, uh, especially after um, you know, these sorts of events. Being a small forest owner, I looked at a number of different products. Um, some were outside of my price range. Others were quite technical or complex to operate and use. Um, while, while browsing, I came across uh, TMK shears. Um, the shears caught my eye because of the simplicity in the fact that they're able to simply uh, hydraulic scissors. There were no moving parts that I needed to worry about, chains um, or multiple rollers or controls with processor heads, etc. I had an excavator, 26 ton Cabelco SK260-8. So the fit was very simple. I already had hydraulics. Um, so we looked at the range from the TMK200, 300, and then the 400. Some of the material we had here was around the 400 size and less. So because of the size of the machine and the, and the material that we needed to, uh, to remove, we picked the TMK400 with the turbo cylinder and we used the uh, TMK Multigrab M. I believe, uh, with, as a grab. Uh, the products have been fantastic. Again, we've had no issues with them at all uh, during operation. Um, we're able to successfully cut down burnt plantation uh, that couldn't be salvageable. Uh, we're able to clear stumps, rip stumps out, um, pile, burn piles. Um, we've used the grab for a number of different functions that help with culverts and eroding. Um, we've used it um, to assist in lifting uh, things that have been excessive in weight, um, fencing material and the like. So the products have actually helped us quite a lot by allowing us to, uh, to use machinery for greater effect. They're lightweight, they're not inhibiting. I can change back to a GP bucket or a mud bucket very quickly um, and then repurpose the machine for digging dams or other farm functions. Time is valuable to me. I've got another job that I work Monday to Friday in. So being able to take that material down efficiently is very, very important to me. Um, with the shears, I didn't need to worry about adding any other computers or attachments or, or changing the way the hydraulics work. And the fact that I can use them at any time of year, I don't have to worry about um, sparks or embers or causing other fires, um, whether it be a dry summer or a winter. The interchangeability, uh, at the moment I've only got fixed heads on my equipment, but with a quick hitch, uh, it takes no time to change over from either a multi-grab to the shear when required. Uh, the, the quality of the multi-grabs and the shear is fantastic. The materials that it's made of is second to none. Uh, the turbo ram is very impressive in, in its dual function, its ability to uh, quickly cut through the small timbers and then provide that extra force bigger timber. Uh, the worst thing for me uh, with the products was probably not so much the product itself, but the, the delays uh, in, in getting it um, after the 2020 bushfires. Obviously, things needed to happen quickly 
and we had to wait for shipping, uh, COVID and probably factory processing time as well, uh, being here in Australia. So that was probably the worst thing for me was, was that duration. Um, obviously, being a sort of an untested product here in Australia a little bit, there wasn't a great deal of people in Australia that were using it. So I was a bit cautious about going down that path. Uh, however, um, it's a lot of strong reviews overseas and really looking at what we needed in our small pine plantation gave me the confidence to go away and buy it and wait um, for those particular products. Uh, like I said, the Grab, very functional for us. We've been really, really happy with it. Uh, the local representative here, Raymond Kell uh, from the Forest Centre, has been very responsive. Uh, he's always been positive on the phone and giving me good updates. Um, as I bought the, both the shear and the grab together, he gave me a package, uh, which was quite, quite good, um, to again assist in, in keeping the price down and uh, allowing me to get on with bushfire recovery. Um, in terms of support, uh, there's obviously the documentation that comes with it, but more importantly, videos. Uh, videos in action and tips and tricks and seeing professionals using the products. Again, I'm not a professional forester in the industry. I own a small private plantation and seeing those things really assisted in, in using the equipment um, safely, properly and, and getting the most effective harvesting or, or shearing and cutting and lifting out, out of them.